What is good everybody and welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today we have some more WWE figure fix up for you guys. Four brand new ones to be exact. You have these three right here which I'm very excited for. But then I have my own self custom that I have from BEW. I took the head off of it and then made myself into an announcer that I sort of just threw some parts together for. That I want to show you guys as well at the end of the video. And I have sort of like a funny gag one that is the leftover parts from um, this John Cena fix up right here. So what we're going to do is go ahead and get straight into these fix ups. Alright guys, the first fix up we have right here is the Defining Moment Shawn Michaels. I got this from my friend Blake Banks, I believe, on Instagram. Really awesome guy. Has a lot of older elites that I usually buy off of him. I have picked up, I think, four now from him. I got Rey Mysterio before. I got Justin Gabriel. This Shawn Michaels, and I believe one more, I could be mistaken, but he is an awesome friend, so I wanted to give a shout out to him. But I did a head swap on this thing. I don't know if you've ever seen this Defining Moment Shawn Michaels, but here is the original head scan, and it just looks horrific. It looks like a zombie version of Shawn Michaels. It looks like the Mattel zombie line right here. He is just looking horrible. It looks like a ghost, all pale with no beard and stuff. So I swapped it with this head. Look at the hair color difference. Like, this is so much more accurate. This is like an orangish, just awful, just looking piece of trash that we're just going to throw back there because this looks way more accurate. It looks so realistic. I love the beard on there. I think this head's way more accurate, and the likeness to Shawn Michaels is such more prominent with this head scan on there. And this figure is amazing. It's very rare nowadays. I don't think you can get this for probably less than $30 loose. So, I mean, it's pretty, it's pretty one of, it's one of the rarer loose figures. And if you were to find this thing mock, I believe it would probably be upwards to $100. So it's definitely a more rare figure. So shout out to Blake again for this pickup. And I'm very excited about this fix up because now it looks a whole lot better. The next figure fix up we got right here guys is the entrance greats Kurt Angle and what I did was a boot swap with an Alberto Del Rio. So instead of the white boots I went with the red and white because Kurt Angle did wear these in his career. I don't think he ever wore this attire with these boots. However I still think this is a cool fix up. This is my second entrance greats Kurt Angle so I figured why not just go ahead and make a fix up one. I would like to repaint the hair on this one as well just to sort of give him like a later look or um, just to make it more accurate anyways but I am digging the way this looks. I think it matches nice with the singlet and the elbow pads. It all ties it together. I ran out of acetone, so I've yet to take off the AR logo. As you see right here, there's like a faded mark on there, and that's because I haven't quite gotten it off yet. And my brother bought, or bought the wrong brand of acetone the other day, so that is another reason why it's not complete. However, I will get that knocked out as soon as possible, but I still had to put it in the video because from this angle, it looks freaking fresh to death. The next fix up we have right here guys is this John Cena in jeans looking very fresh right here. What I did was take the second Defining Moments John Cena figure, did a lower leg swap with the Elite 48 uh, Dean Ambrose, and then I threw the shoes on there as well to complete the look. I do like the way this looks. Um, it uh, sort of has a um, street sort of feel to it. And he never wore pants on WWE TV. He's never worn long jeans or anything like that besides the 2003 Royal Rumble, but they did not look like this. They were like darker jeans and they were rolled up to like right here. He had wrestling boots underneath and it looked atrocious. I think he had like black wrist tape on and he was just looking like a fool back then, guys. It was like um, a very early time in his gimmick, so it just, it was not good. It did not look nice at all. So I don't know if I'll ever have that figure in the John Cena timeline, but I guess it would be an interesting take, but I am just, I hated the attire so much I don't think I'll ever do it but this is pretty close to it so yeah you have John Cena in jeans I thought about doing a John Cena John Triton figure from the Marine movie and then doing like a movie shelf with Lance Catamaran and everything on there so that's probably in the works but now let's move on to the last fix up for this video Real quick guys, before we get into the last fix up, I wanted to show you the result of that John Cena fix up. Here is what Dean Ambrose looks like with the John Cena lower legs on there and he is looking crazy. He looks like a middle school bully or something like that as he falls down because these ankle joints are just awful. But I think the it's funny because the shoes look like those big skater shoes that all the you know middle schoolers wear. And he's just looking crazy over here, guys. He's looking like he sells cigarettes behind the gym, if you get what I'm saying. So he's looking, I don't know, this, is, this just looks funny to me. But now that we've covered that, guys, let's get to the last fix-up. 
And the last fix up we have right here, guys, is the Trey White Custom MDT Live announcer right here. I'd like to replace the WWE logo right here with an MDT logo, you know, to sit him down there at commentary. But um, he'll be on commentary anyways. But I love the way this looks. You know, the Mean Gene Oakland figure is the base. I replaced the underbody right here with the Howard Finkel because I'm a bow tie guy. I love bow ties so much. So I want to be rocking a bow tie instead of the longer tie. Um, and the rest is just Mean Gene Oakland and, of course, the custom head from BEW. And it looks just like me. I am looking so beautiful on commentary now. I just love this fix up so much. And I saved myself from doing a nosedive there. But I am definitely feeling the way this looks. I want to know what your guys' opinion is. I'd like to bring up a picture right here to show you guys what I look like in bow tie, just looking fresh to death anyways. But anyways, that is the last fix up we have for this video. But that is going to do it, guys, for all of our brand new WWE figure fix-ups. Let me know down in the comment section below what you think of all of these. Do you enjoy them? Do you think they're stupid? Let me know down below. Also, let me know what you think of cigarette-selling middle school bully Dean Ambrose figure right here. Um, leave a like down below. Get, try to get this video to 200 likes if we can. Subscribe for more epic WWE and WWE figure-related videos. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.